Hi, this video will demo Flashcard Lab, an app that helps you learn anything using easily customizable flashcards directly in Google Sheets. You can also turn your decks into printable double-sided flashcards in Google Docs. Finally, you can use AI to create study materials directly from PDFs in minutes instead of hours. Let's get started. Starting with a blank Google Sheets file, go to the Extensions drop-down menu, go to Flashcard Lab, go to Start Here, and click Generate Sample Deck. Flashcard Lab will confirm with you if this is OK. Clicking Yes will set the file up to be formatted correctly with three decks of sample vocabulary words. You can edit it to your liking later. When that's done, the sidebar will open. This is the main interface of the app. In this first spreadsheet, the top row contains headers that label each column. These aren't part of the study material, but define what appears on the flashcards. Besides the first row, each row corresponds to a single flashcard. Flashcard Lab works with a specific format. Column A is the front of the card, or the prompt. Column B is the back of the card, or the answer. Column C adds supporting text to the answer. Column D adds hints or mnemonics to the front of the card. And column E is for images, which you don't have to worry about right now. I'm just going to type some subtext for the second card as a synonym and give myself a hint for this vocabulary word. All right, now that there is some formatted content in the spreadsheet, let's take a look at the sidebar. The first thing to note is this gear icon at the top right. Clicking this will open up the settings that you can configure. You can toggle features like randomized review to shuffle decks or reverse front back to study answers first. Adjust font sizes and enable spaced repetition mode, which shows cards only when it's time to review them, making studying more efficient and way easier to use than Anki. Save the settings for them to take effect. The sidebar has three main buttons, one to start reviewing a deck, one to print flashcards, and one to open up the My Decks dashboard, where you can view, edit, and create decks using AI from PDFs. Let's start by reviewing a deck. Click the Start Reviewing button. In the dropdown, select the deck you want to review and click Start Reviewing. At the bottom, use the buttons to navigate cards and flip them to check your answers or use keyboard shortcuts like the spacebar to flip a card. At the top right of the card, you have some extra controls. You can edit the card contents, play the custom audio or the English pronunciation of the card, and use the plus icon to add the card to the forgotten deck for focused review later. This card has a hint on the front of the card. You can click the text or use the M keyboard key to show the text. Similarly, on the back of the card, there is the additional supplemental text that I added to the spreadsheet earlier. I'm going to continue reviewing. Let's say I get to a card that was difficult for me. I'll add it to the forgotten deck by clicking the plus icon at the top right. This will automatically add this card to the forgotten deck for me to review later. Upon completion, you will see all the cards that you either added to the forgotten deck or the ones that you flipped to show the answer for. I'm going to click this button to go back to the deck selection for review. Now that you've seen how deck review works, let's see how editing a deck and adding images and other media works. Click the edit deck button here. This will open up the deck editor interface. Here you can edit the prompt and the answer text. I'm also going to add some text for the hint and the answer subtext. Click this button to add an image. You can choose between uploading an image from your computer or from a URL. If it's from a URL, make sure it's a publicly available image. I'm going to paste the URL here and click OK. To add audio, click the speaker icon. Only audio file URLs are supported, like an MP3 hosted on a website. I'm going to paste the URL and click OK. Once you're done with making changes to the deck, be sure to save the changes. This saves them to the spreadsheet. Now let's see how printing flashcard decks works. In the sidebar, click the Print Flashcards button. Here you can select the deck to print. This section allows you to configure the settings for printing. You can also set how many cards are printed per page. I'm going to select eight cards per page. Here are the advanced options and you can play with these settings if you want. Finally, click the Make Flashcard Doc button. Generating the document usually takes less than a minute, but it depends on how many cards there are and how many images there are. 
Once it's done, you can click the link to the newly created Google Doc and review the result. Great, it looks good. Now you can print it out and cut out the cards. The last thing to show is the My Decks interface of the app where you can see all your decks, drafts, and create decks using AI from PDFs. Go to the sidebar and click the My Decks button. Here you can see all the decks in this Google Sheet. From here, you can review, edit, delete, or rename any deck. To quickly create a deck from a PDF to study, click on the Create with AI button. Select a PDF from your computer and click Generate New Deck. This will first upload the PDF to Flashcard Lab, process the content, and then output all the cards corresponding to the content in the PDF text. If the PDF takes longer than expected to process, you can check back later or click the Refresh icon button to check. You can see that the file was uploaded, and you can see that file in the Sources tab. Hovering over the Source PDF file icon, you can open it up or delete it. Going back to the draft decks, I'm going to refresh to see if the deck finished processing. I can see that it did. Now I can review and edit the deck by clicking the pencil icon. This will show the deck editor with the PDF file showing on the right so that you can have the source material readily available for reference. If I'm satisfied with the cards, I can click save the sheet to graduate this draft and actually save it to the spreadsheet so I can review this deck. Let's start reviewing it by clicking the review deck button. Great, the flashcards look good. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the Flashcard Lab Google Sheets add-on. Please try it out with the link in the description below. And thanks for watching.